Hey, there it goes. Ugh, using the new remote. Well, today's video, which will be coming up shortly, was not all that great. Uh, you'll see what the finds were. Um, about half of the hunt I did with the Nox, the other half of the hunt I did with the Simplex, and the Nox, I picked up a lot of bottle, bottle caps, a lot of pull tabs, um, a vape, you know, some little chips of aluminum, and uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, not too much. Um, about after an hour and 15, or hour and 30 minutes of uh, hunting with the Nox, I went to the car, put the Nox in there, and got the Simplex out. Hit the same area, and wound up with 76 cents. And I dug all of it deep, so. Can the Simplex be deeper than the Nox? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe I just missed those spots. But, um, yeah, it was a fun hunt, put it that way. I uh, had a lot of camera cut problems, and you'll see that when we get into there, into the video. I uh, couldn't get this GoPro to work again. Kept locking up in, in, uh, animation video and slow-mo video and all of that stuff and i just couldn't get it to record so a lot of my digs are not on here so it's just uh, a lot of complaining i think <laughs> but uh this seems to be working pretty good i just got to figure out why it's changing functions uh it's looks like it's recording correctly right now um i usually record in 1080p 60 frames a second and for some reason it switched to 1440 and all different kinds of things were happening but that's that um it was a good hunt i met up with a new guy today uh his name is uh, tony he's from england and used to dig roman sites which is pretty cool and he just wanted a few pointers on our area here and uh, we set up another hunt for two weeks out so we'll be hitting uh another beach to the south of us uh, as long as the beaches stay open, that is. And uh, he found a nice 925 bracelet today. I should have got a picture, but the camera wasn't working right. So anyway, that's that. Just a quick tip. Not a tip, but something I just found out. I didn't even know this thing worked. GoPro was, I believe, made by Apple, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or it's sort of an Apple kind of product. My uh, son, my seven-year-old son, bought me a light for my office, which is right here. It's a three-stage light. Good, uh, good light for when you're cleaning your finds and doing stuff on the computer. I'll swing around in a second. But it's called a drop and charge. Well, I don't have an Apple phone. So I have an Android. And Android won't work on this thing. But you know what does work? Check this out. The GoPro batteries. You drop it on there and it charges the battery. Go figure. So I can actually plug the camera in, charge the battery in the camera, and charge my spare batteries on there. So this is, I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm going to see if it really works. But when it's flashing like that, it says it's charging. So. I may have found out something interesting. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if that does work, the next video I will update and say, yeah, it does work. But anyway, that's enough babbling for me. Um, all I can say is when you're out there, if you have a bad day hunting, it's still a good day. So keep your head up and just keep pushing on. Catch you later. Good morning again, YouTube. On the way to the beach, heading out to Jensen. I think I'm going to be on my own this morning. Um, I wore Mike out yesterday. <laughs> I texted him this morning, but I haven't heard back yet, so maybe he can't get out of bed. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, heading down to Jensen. Already dealing with you with um, GoPro camera problems. 
I know I charged my batteries last night. Actually took the one that's in the camera off the charger this morning and put it in the camera. And I go to start the camera and nothing, dead. Won't turn on, won't do nothing. So I have to take the whole thing apart, pull the battery out, put it back in, now it's fine. I don't know about these things. I may, may be getting something different, I don't know. And there goes the screen that shuts off. I have to touch it to make it come back on, but I gotta look in settings about that. So I'm going down to uh, the beach here. Uh, I've got the Knox with me and I've got the Simplex with me. So I may be doing a comparison type deal today. See, uh, see what the differences are. I know I see the videos out there, but I like to see for myself. So, without further ado, off to the beach. All right, guys. Back to the beach at Jensen Beach. I'm here with uh, today Tony. He uh, he contacted me on one of the uh, online forums, and he wanted to learn a little bit about the beach. So uh, he's out here detecting. He's got a safari, an old safari, and he seems to be uh, wanting to find some goodies. So I am going to get started here, and I will uh, get back with you on the first dig. Oh, guys. Um, I haven't been recording too much of anything here. Uh, I've got a couple pennies, a spoon, some bottle caps, as usual, a couple of pool tabs. Uh, same thing with Tony, he only found a few things. But so far I've seen four other detectors on this beach. Um, that's not a big deal because I'll hunt behind anybody. I'm, you know. Everybody's gonna miss something. But uh, not too much stuff going on. So I'll keep at it and uh, I'll record any of the good stuff. See you in a bit. Well, I am back. Um, a whole hell of a lot of nothing on the beach today. Um, I'm just thinking that this beach is like hunted out. Uh, the few little things that I found, pennies, a spoon, got bottle caps, tons of bottle caps. Um, three people in front of me detecting, leaving holes wide open, leaving their trash in the holes, not picking up, you know, they find a bottle cap, they throw it back in a hole for the next guy. Uh, shame on them. Anyway, I just hit this volleyball field and look what I brought out. That's right. Nakata Macro. I'll never, I'll never learn how to say that name. Nocta, Nakata, whatever. Anyway, the Simplex Plus. I'm gonna give this a hunt on this volley, volleyball field. Looks like there's been some action here, so maybe somebody lost a ring or a chain or some money. All right, I'll post up if I find anything. Well, I'll tell you what, this camera I am really fed up with. Can't record a damn video without it screwing up. Going into time lapse and multiple photos and slow motion. Uh, and unbelievable. I'm just fed up with it. I'm going to start using my camera and then I'll send a letter to GoPro and tell them how crappy their product is. Anyway, um, pretty much horrible hunt today well not too bad i've found maybe around a dollar and change um i had so many problems with the camera couldn't record anything i finally just got back to the car to figure out what was going on with it it was locked on something else it was recording in 1440 hd or something like that and then it was in time lapse video and I think I got it fixed out now. I'm at 1080p at 60 frames per minute or per second or whatever the hell it is. So can you, you can tell I'm a little upset, can't you? <laughs> anyway, a crappy day metal detecting is better than a good day at work. That's all I can say. Well, I met up with Tony. Um, he hunted. He found a few pennies. He found some trash. But he did find a really nice 
925 men's uh, like ID bracelet and it was heavy so and I, it felt like about two ounces so that's that's a that's a good find right there so he's happy because he's from England he used to hunt you know battlefields over there and he used to find all kinds of stuff and uh, every time he comes out all he finds is bottle caps and trash so I gave him a few pointers on gridding and stuff like that so he he did have a good find so now he wants to go out again uh, won't be next weekend because I'll be out of town but we will be hunting the beach I hunted two weeks ago bathtub beach we're gonna be hunting a different area of that so keep an eye out for that one and uh, Tony will come down for that um, He's going to bring his machine over one day this week so we can clean up the battery compartment and get that working properly because the batteries don't make the connection. And uh, I can repair that. So Anyway, that's uh, what we got so far. I'm heading home. It's hot. It's sweaty. My camera's not working. And I'll do a video so you can see gosh, how much fun I had today. <laughs> anyway, um, and today seems like a video watching day, so I'll be watching all the new videos that post up today and commenting on them if I can and uh, if I don't comment I usually put a like and a heart so if I don't comment don't feel bad I have watched and you know I, I, I thumb through them you know uh, I don't watch a whole video if it's 15 20 minutes long you can't sit there and waste your whole day watching a complete video you know you go on to the fines you know you watch some of the parts of it and uh, there's a few people that I do watch the whole videos, and you know who you are. Um, but a lot of them I'll just I'll just race through and, and see what's going on, and if something interests me really, really good. And look at it this way. You got to watch, and you got to like, and you got a heart, so that helps your channel. So I try to spread out the wealth. Anyway, let me get off this thing and get to the homestead. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back for the uh, wrap-up. Uh, we almost had a tie for the beer of the day. It was going to be Seagram's Escapes and Corona, but I found another Corona cap in my bag, and Corona wins it again. <laughs> so we we got, uh, what do we got there? Ten bottle caps. Uh, this little piece of I don't know what. Rang up a silver, I'm gonna check that, test it. Uh, scrumpled up, piece of aluminum foil. Another vape, it's a new cigarette butt of the year. Uh, a baby spoon, beaver tail, um, shell. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna test it. It looks like a, an old clasp, an old silver clasp. This, I don't know what it is either, that ring up is silver, check that. Um, pull tab. Here's the other half of that. It's two pieces in the hole, so who knows? We'll check it. Um, two quarters, two dimes, and six pennies for a whopping total of 76 cents. Better than yesterday's haul, but uh, yeah, that's it. And like I said in the, uh, the video earlier, or whatever it was, Tony found a nice 925 uh, bracelet, weighed about almost two ounces. So that was... Uh, that was pretty cool. So this is uh, this is it for today. Uh, my next hunt is probably going to be next Friday. Uh, back to work tomorrow, and relax for the rest of the day today. Uh, most of this change, also, I found all the change except for two pennies with the um, simplex. Um, and I didn't find. I only found two pennies with the Knox today. And this is going over the same area that I was hunting, so that's telling me something. There's a little bit of a depth difference. So anyway, hope you like it. Comment, subscribe, like, and all of that happy stuff. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.